I'm Edie Lush and I'm here in Paris for COP21 for the Climate Summit. And I'm very, very pleased to be joined by Valérie Giscard d'Estaing, former president of France. Now I'm here for the Climate Summit and I wondered what thoughts you had on that. Well, I'm not an expert on climate. And when I was president, I started uh, the evolution towards a uh, uh, more controlled uh, uh, waste system, energy system, and all that we started. And we had low, in fact, low pollution. But what surprises me the most for this uh, debate is that the main factor in pollution is not mentioned, not even mentioned in every speech of the great leaders. The main factor is the number of people. It is the population. Mm -hmm. Because when the population increase, the waste increase, the energy is needed, the transport is needed. There's a proportion, perhaps not a simple proportion, but it's a relationship between the number of people and all these events. No one speaks about it. pressure on resources. No. And it's in the main countries, like the U.S., like Europe, there's no problem because our population is rather stable or increased very little. But in continent, like Africa, for instance, we expect one billion more people in the next 10 to 15 years. Mm. So it's a support for c climate problems. It is absolutely devastating. Mm. Very strange, and uh, the problem is very urgent. Uh, we have seen certainly the photos in Beijing, in mm. China, the last days. Mm -hmm. The sky was yellow, yeah. entirely yellow, with spots, uh, and uh, you cannot neither breathe nor see. Mm. So I hope that a number of people will take be taken in consideration, and I hope the UN, who is competent for that, would do it. I want to turn the conversation to Syria and Iraq, and I wonder what thoughts you have on the new coalition against Daesh, uh, France, the US, Russia, now Britain joining in airstrikes. What difference do you think that will make? Well, probably coalition is not the proper word. Because it's not a war. Mm. A war is something very clear, in which you have armies, borders, you try to invade, to conquer. That's not the case. We are far away from the, from the place. Uh, there are violence into the place, between groups, uh, churches, and all this. So it's more joint action. It's not what, uh, in the people's mind, we call normal a coalition. We have the same interest. This interest is to have peace in Syria first. And the problem of Iraq and then Afghanistan and maybe uh, unhappily Pakistan mm. come after. So the problem now is Syria. We have the chance, the real chance, that for Syria at the moment, there is a sort of an agreement between the US, mm. Russia, Iran, and Saudi Arabia, and the European. So we can act jointly. The, the problem is that people are fighting by group each other. It's not an invasion, they come not through the border, they're fighting. So we must have peace into Syria. But how do you make that happen? Do you think that the airstrikes are enough? Do you think there should be troops on the ground? Well, airstrikes are, if I may say so, useful mm -hmm. because they destroy equipment, machinery, and all that. They kill people mm. because we are very sensitive when we have people killed on our mm. side. But uh, bombing by night kills people, so mm. well, they kill people. Also, they do not change something on the ground because in the morning, uh, while well, the people are there, hidden more or less, or then start again, or mm. what they do. 
So we need, need ground forces, we need them. It's impossible to send them. The US w will not, mm -hmm. the European will not, so no one will. So what to do? The problem is to teach, induce, lead the fighting groups to stop for a while uh, and to try to find a new organization for the country. These groups must be all the groups, except Daesh. Mm -hmm. There's a little difficulty in the people, among the people who revolted at the beginning, because at the beginning Daesh was into the revolt, so mm -hmm. they were split, the moderate people to revolt and the Daesh. The Daesh must go on fighting them, mm -hmm. and they must also fight them. So you don't include them in any peace talks? No. But no. you try to, you include All everybody else? which is uh, basically five or six groups. Mm -hmm. The government forces, which is on the mm -hmm. west of the country, the Sunni side, the Sh Sh Shiite mm -hmm. side, uh, the... Uh, uh, the Jews, the Christians. The, of course, the mm -hmm. Christians, and of course the Kurds. Mm -hmm. So it makes six groups. Yeah. They must meet somewhere, mm -hmm. probably in Geneva, not in Syria. It must be under the pressure of violence. An agree of how could they stop fighting? How? The fighting is sparse. Mm -hmm. You have part of the country which are quiet at mm -hmm. the moment, or you are part of the of certain cities in which one half. It's quite the other one mm -hmm. violent. So they probably can accept to have a long ceasefire mm -hmm. and then debate how to organize Syria. During that time, the powers which support them mm -hmm. will uh, protect them if they need to be protected, will still go bombing Daesh people mm -hmm. to try to expel or eliminate them and will approve of a final agreement between the groups, which will create a new government or uh, leading structure in Syria, followed by elections. Elections are impossible for the moment. Mm. They are expected, you know, because mm -hmm. they have terms next year, but probably it will be a little later. And then the aim will be peace in Syria. Mm. And it's what we must work on, all of us, and uh, with open-minded but strong will. And what about the question of Assad? How long do you think he should stay? Well, I had a conversation yesterday with people who came from, uh, from Syria, from inside Syria. First, there are a part of the country in which life is normal. Mm. They can circulate. These people went, for instance, from Damas to Alep. Without, With no problem. You no, know, they stop on the way to a famous castle. Mm -hmm. It's called the Crack, the Chevalier. It's a mm -hmm. famous medieval castle right there. They stop, nothing. So it's not a constant bad thing. Well, the, your question is? What to do about Assad? How long uh, should he Assad, stay? According to these people, is less unpopular mm -hmm. than we think. Right. Because he is a man rather for reform. Mm -hmm. The worst people are the people of the old party, the Bash, mm -hmm. you know, which are corrupted. Uh, having power for themselves, uh, having police units at their orders, and they are hated by the population. So the population consider that Assad is better than the system. So at the end, they will have to vote for a leader. Strangely enough, it might be Assad who had the most votes. Mm -hmm. It's possible. Perhaps somebody younger or else and it will be the next 
I did it from Syria. So we can end a, a, a meeting mm -hmm. sh quickly, two months, three times, mm -hmm. six months of debates, an agreement, mm -hmm. a ceasefire, little administration by the United Nations, mm -hmm. election, and the end. And policing of the border by, by blue helmets. Well, that is the problem, because the border, you have the sea border, the sea protected. You have the Turkish border. Mm -hmm. We need a strong and very clear agreement with the Turks mm -hmm. to close the border, except for the regular crossing. But for arms, mm -hmm. not accept armaments in Syria, and for oil, mm -hmm. not accepting export of oil, which uh, gave uh, Daesh mm -hmm. uh, an important part of its financial yeah. resources, probably about Five hundred million mm -hmm. dollars. So yes, and uh, w w what the, all the and so the, and then on the on the uh, other border, the with long the border, yeah, and the long border was uh, designed by a French and a British diplomats mm -hmm. in 1917, and they took a map, a pencil, and they drew and a line. line. Yes, it is in desert, mm. practically. But the desert is little inhabited. You have small villagers and some people uh, living there. Impossible for the Syrian to keep it. Mm. Impossible because the Syrian army isn't equipped. So there, the UN mm -hmm. should provide the security. It is only for not crossing the line. Mm -hmm. And they should have some um, blue helmet mm -hmm. units located on the line to protect it. And how do you think um, is, the most, is the most effective way to deal with Turkey? Because as you say, they are part of the problem in terms of funding Daesh. Is it the, up to the Americans to be strong with yes. Turkey? Yes, well, it's the Americans because the relationship is close. Uh, the armament is purely American. Mm. The plane was shot. Mm -hmm. The Russian plane was an American plane. Not the Turkish mm. plane was the Turkish pilots, the American. So the country who had the most power uh, is uh, clearly the U.S. And the U.S. Must have, a, <coughs> must have a very clear stand. And how hopeful are you that your plan will work? How hopeful do you think are you that we'll see? It depends peace? on one man. In fact, it is the, the American Secretary of State. He will have the support of the British, mm -hmm. I think, the support of the French. He is able to have the support of the Russian of, and Iran. And if this group gather or agree, half of the problem is solved, in fact. It's what, probably what he wants to do is blocked by uh, complications here or there, uh, but he has the ability and the uh, uh, faith, mm -hmm. I think, to overdo. To do it. Yes. Thank you very much for speaking to me. No, it was a pleasure, and you see, population for the planet, peace for Syria. Thank you very much, Monsieur the President, and I'm Edie Lush for Hub Culture here in Paris.